Hey guys, Nick from Gallery 7, and today we're going to start framing these uh, limited edition inkjet prints from the Dr. Seuss estate. Uh, they're inkjet prints, and then they've been hand embellished, and you can see that they've got very areas where it looks like they've hand varnished parts of it and not other parts of it. So it kind of looks like a real painting. Um, the company that, that they bought these from has very specific instructions about how to frame them. They want them glued down onto an eight ply rag board and they recommended a glue called P200 and it told you exactly what company to buy it from. So we got the glue and I've never used this stuff before so I wanted to test it and I really thank our clients for being so patient. So I went to the art supply store in uh, Concord, uh, really nice, what's it called Kelly? Re anyway, really nice store. Um, I bought a bunch of canvas, some large pieces of canvas, and I practiced gluing canvas down using this P200 product, and it looked great, and it's going to work fine, but I didn't just glue it down and say this works. What I did was glue it down, waited uh, several days, then I put it out in the hot sun for an afternoon, um, really checking to make sure that it's holding and not bubbling. So I feel good about this product and I'm ready to glue this down, and we're gonna show you that in just a minute. Okay, uh, first, the, the art supply store in Concord is called Albright Art Supply. Um, it's a level of service and knowledge you don't get if you go to Michael's or something like that. Anyway, they're great. Um, so, as we talked about, this eight ply museum board has been cut to exactly the same size as the canvas. And the idea is that when this gets glued down, the edge of the painting lines up perfectly with the edge of the mat board, which is a little tricky to do. Now, in the real world, almost nothing is ever square. And what we found was that the painting was an eighth of an inch longer here than here. So I actually trim the board to follow the slight little bit of off square it has up here. That doesn't matter. That will be covered by the lip of the frame. So, and it took about probably, you know, a half an hour trimming the board, making it fit perfectly, getting this lined up perfectly. So now when it comes time to glue, what's going to happen is it's weighted down here. This gets lifted up. We take the roller, and you're going to see this. We take the roller, we roll the glue out on here. This comes back down. We move the weights over here. We lift up the other side, and we do the other side. Once it's all down, you take a clean roller, the one without the glue on it, and you roll it down to make contact. And at this point, it starts to look, you know, pretty flat and pretty good. Now, it needs to dry under weight. So we're going to come over here and show you. This is my weighting system, my homemade weighting system. Uh, I got two sheets of quarter-inch glass from c and Glass in Acton. We get all our mirrors and stuff from them. Um, so this is a quarter-inch piece of glass. This is a quarter inch piece of glass, so we have a perfectly flat bottom and a perfectly flat top. This is called release board, it's silicone coated, and the other side is perfectly clean, it doesn't have that on it. So once the painting is glued down, this goes on top of the painting, this comes down like that, and the whole thing is held flat overnight. Okay, we're gonna start gluing. All right, here comes the glue. When we showed you the glue, it was on the counter with the painting, but it was all sealed up. So now when we pour the glue and have the glue open, we keep it well away from the artwork. Okay, there we go.
But I've got my gloves on now, just in case I got any glue residue on my hands, I don't want it getting on the piece. I'm gonna check now and make sure that we are still lined up. That is perfect. I'm gonna come check the other corner. Of course, theoretically, if they're all perfect, this should be perfect too. Hey, what do you know? Good to go. Now, as I roll this out, I wanna talk about inkjet paintings on canvas. And we work with a very good paper conservator. And what's going on now is artists are making these beautiful inkjet prints on canvas, which this is, this is an inkjet print. It's, I think they said it's a pigment print, which means an inkjet print. Um, the problem is, it's not an oil painting. When you have an oil painting, oil paints are very tough. You know, you could spill tomato juice on an oil painting and a conservator could clean it up fairly easily. We would never do that, but if it happened, you know, you'd probably be okay. Also, oil paints do very well in UV light. Um, Inkjet prints do not do great in UV light, and it doesn't even matter if they were to spray a UV coating on this. If it's not an oil or acrylic on canvas, it should be under glass, just to keep it safe and archival. So our client has agreed to let us put art glass on this. All right. I think it's ready to go under the weight.